Hello everybody. Nico Laukarinen from Finland asked me to do a typical cross screw head. First I pointed him to a Luxology tutorial but then I thought well the method I'm using is completely different but it's at least as easy and as uh, clean and straightforward as the one in that uh, tutorial. So I thought I share it with Nico and with all of you who are interested. So here we go. I'm in top view. Hit the A key to go to the middle. <coughs> Select a square and make it 2 by 2 millimeters and center everything in the middle. Drop the tool, A key, so we see it. And then I go to Edge Mode, select these two edges, Set key, right click to activate the tool, R key, and then bring this out uh, 400%. Drop the tool, select these two, um, Set key again, right click, R key, and 400% again. Next, I go to Vertex Mode, select all the vertices in here, hit the B key with the round level of zero, and bevel this in. And obviously, as more as I bevel, as more round this shape becomes. So I can now select all these polygons here, which are not quads. Go to Polygon, Quadruple, and we have all quads now. If you uh, have not Modo 701, you must cut it up yourself the way I did it here. So I can select now the outer edges here. Set key again, R key, and bring it out on the green circle to about here. Drop the tool. Now I select these edges here and these ones, R key again, and make this about the same distance, 88. <coughs> Good. Same here and here. R key again and 88% also here. Drop the tool. Now we can see how many edges we have. This is, by the way, a typical 2D to 3D approach. Uh, you might recognize it when you have seen my 24 2D to 3D series, which I think helps quite a lot for shapes like this. So 24 edges and make this about Four point five and all zero here. <coughs> Drop the tool mm, might be a bit four point eight. Drop the tool. Good. Now I rotate this a bit about so must be seven point five degrees. Drop the tool, then I can bevel this, bevel it in, and delete. Go to edge mode, shift select also these edges, and bridge them. Perspective. Now I go to poly mode, shift X, bring up, bring it up a bit. Then select two polys in here, L key, shift up arrow, shift X, bring it up to here, drop the tool, mm, L key, delete, delete the bottom, we don't need this. Then I can go in here and paint select all these polygons. And this ones 
R key <clears throat> and make it smaller as this is in real life cross screw heads. So I put two edges in here, like about so. Let's see what we have. That looks pretty nice. If you want to have a flat screen, we are done. If you want to have a round one, we have to do some bits more. So let me put everything in the middle. Go to top view and we have 24 edges, yes. Let's select the default sphere, which also has 24 edges. Then I can uh, control left click and bring one out, like about so. Go to the side view and <coughs> delete the top three rows. So L delete delete and delete the bottom, L, delete and delete this. Now I can go to top again. Ah, that's quite close. R key on the middle circle, like so. Then I rotate it 7.5 degrees. 7.5 like so perspective now side view W key to about here perspective again now we can bridge these edges here and if we want to have a nice edge here we leave it in otherwise we can delete one of these <coughs> like so now I leave it in drop the tool and here it is we are finished render a key and I go to the render 888 Control enter put some not shiny material in here and render it out. So here it is. Our cross screw head pretty quickly done and quite easy to do. Thanks very much for watching. I hope it helped one or the other. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.